Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and on this video tutorial I'd like to show you a new plugin for the Corel Aftershot Pro RAW Converter. It's a plugin for vignetting. But first we create a new layer, adjustment layer so that we have the effect of the vignetting only on the on that layer on this extra adjustment layer and then we can enable the vignetting and um, you have a lot of options here inside of the plugin and uh, some of them I like very much especially you can adjust the midpoint so we get down with the strength and the size a little bit so that you can see it. We can adjust the sliders XY to every point on your image. So it's very good to have this option I think. I use it very often to create a special vignetting to set the spot on something and then the rest of the image is going a little bit dark that's great if you don't want to have it and you want to go back to the normal points of the sliders double click the word and you're back on the midpoint of your image yeah, then you have special shapes, square, rhombus, and linear. And the linear I like much for special effects like what you can do with the gradient filter on top of a lens. You can rotate it. That's also something I like. And if we change the size a little bit and the transition so you can see what we have here and you can use the center sliders as well to create that shape you need for your image that's very good to have very fast and easy to use but we go back to the round change the size back to that and then I think some of you will like this option here this preview it's like a brush so that you can see what's going on with your size and your transition it's like a brush tip, you can see the transition and the spot. I think it's very hand handy to have this option to see the preview. So you, you have all the edges of your vignetting. You can see it, what's going on. Where's the borderline to the perfect dark? and where is the transition and here you can see what's going on with the vignetting and with the preview on you can see where the borderlines are of your vignetting of the effect of the vignetting uh, you can change the color of the vignetting as well the vignette color Maybe you will have something of this brownish color. No problem to get it. And here you can change the strength. Maybe it's good if you're going to black and white. Something like that. And then it's nice to have a little bit of a color maybe, if you like it. Or not, you're going back to the black one. Or a white one. It's up to you, up to your taste. As normal as you can change 
that on every tool inside of post-processing programs or raw converters. You can preserve the color if you have problems with this. On the, the darker side, if you're changing a lot of colors here, you can preserve them. If this is a problem on your image. It's great to have this option here. And something that's very cool is the calculation of the fall off, like it's linear, very smooth. A little bit harder or a normal vignetting. So you can change that as well. And we will go a little bit to a normal vignetting so that you can see what's going on what we have for the before and after. So you can go into the before and after only by clicking this little guy here, enable vignetting. Or if we open our layer panel, you can change this as well. Check or uncheck this special layer for your adjustment. Uh, for this, the vignetting, change the opacity if you like to, something like this maybe. So you have all the options with this new raw converter from Coral. It's a lot of options you have with this and it's a great tool, very fast and easy to use. And I like it already, especially with this new plugin for vignettings. Yeah, this is it for now. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.